Okay, I'm just going to quickly show you how to do this. Um, it's fairly straightforward. Um, now you might uh, let me apologise for the uh, for the fuzz, especially on it's DirectX or it's this software or what I can't find any settings to make it to um, make it any better. So you'll just have to bear with me on that. Um, okay, now you might think use a, um, a cylinder to start with, but I'm going to do this with a spline just to because I think it's a bit easier to work with. Um, so let's uh, delete that. Um, we need a new object. You'll need Bert and line on, so as you can see them obviously, and you need to go to create face and select line from there. I'm going to go F1 view. Let's just zoom in a bit. Um, and basically all you do is draw um, a cross section through through your cup. Um, it's very straightforward. So there, and that's it. That's all you need really um, to do this. I'm just going to tidy this up a bit. Once I put that vertical. Um, that's fine. I'll put that there. Um, <coughs> now I'm just going to align these verts. If we get a selected align, oops, I don't know that one. Selected um, align verts on Z, we want them at zero. It just makes things easier later on. And the same with these on the Y. Let's just tick that zero and. Okay, it's just so as you know where everything is, it's not it's not a big deal. Um, so if we go here to um, properties, <coughs> apply lathe 12 around the Y, and there we have it. Um, just need to move those up a bit more. Oh dear, it's probably a bit too high. There we go. Let's leave it down like that. Okay, so uh, freeze your lathe. So object freeze lathe. Okay. Um, now the problem with lathe is it will give you double-sided polys. There's a bit of a procedure to go through to get rid of them all. <coughs> so the first one is uh, object, and you want to go here to unify faces. Now this will take half of them out, as it's telling me there. 132 have been deleted, um, not the ones I wanted. So the whole thing, more or less, is inside out by the looks of things. Um, while you're on this cleanup, I would advise align faces as well. In this case, it's done nothing, but all the normals are facing um, the same way. It, it, the actual fact they're inside out, but they're all the same way. So the final one on this is uh, we're going to have to invert the faces. So if you uh, select the, the whole thing, either with marquee or control B, go to selected and invert that turns your faces inside out so we're the right way now um, and the last one um, you need to do is object join closed vertices it's like a proximity weld um, you can probably leave it at zero if you, if you, if you want to you can put it at 0 0.5 and that should come up at 22 which just welds these verts in the center here together on this side and this side um, although if you don't weld you won't because you're going to put subdivision on you won't get um, it will split okay so um, let's put uh, the subdivision on to see what it looks like so you right click on the object there um, Catmull Clark and 4 let's just turn the wires off for the moment um, you see it looks quite nice at the bottom there, a bit sharp at the top, so we need some control loops in there. So let's just turn the subdivision display off and put the wires back on. Um, so we'll put a couple of control loops in. So if we go knife and you want the center on there, cut straight face. You see it mouses over, it'll highlight the line, left click, drag to the next one, and it'll kind of snap to it let go there line there on the inside uh, same on the outside more or less the same distance below the lip 
from there I'm going to put another one a bit further down this is where we're going to extrude the handle from um, and we want one from the bottom as well uh, there and there will probably do it that's all we'll need for that okay so we want to extrude um, these two faces really but I want to extrude down the x-axis so I'm just going to rotate the whole cup around the y 15 degrees just to align that face or those two faces up that axis it just makes it easier when you do when you go to the other orthogonal view in a minute you'll see it will come together so just select those two faces so I'll select that one hold down shift select that one go to extrude and extrude twice so a little bit then extrude again okay so we've still got two faces highlighted there because I'm going to join these these two up with a bit more geometry we don't need those two faces so you can press delete on your keyboard and get rid of those two so as I say we need to connect these two up um, one thing I would do just before you before we do that I'll put verts back on is just go to your move tool select these four verts here and move them back up the X just makes things a bit easier to to get at okay then we go back to uh, create face uh, you'll need face this time and uh, really just join these up that's all you need to do you'll need to go in a clockwise or an anti-clockwise direction it doesn't really matter um, but don't go across otherwise it won't work just join those up this one's kind of difficult to see and there that's done so it's all joined up again I'm just going to add another loop um, <coughs> just just because to sharpen things up at the top here so just pull another loop up there um, and the, uh, just I'm just going to scale that handle in so if you go to F2 from looking down from above scale just select that handle scale that in slightly that'll do for that back to F3 and uh, you know you'll just need to scale that a bit scale this a bit just so you get it looking nice now I would suggest putting the uh, subdivision display back on so click that as you see it looks a bit fat at the moment and a bit in the wrong place so um, we're just going to move a few things around just to make it look a bit more um, and like I mean designs up to you <coughs> they're all cups are different so I'll leave it up to you what you want to do there uh, let's just move that move it up there um, that will that'll do actually that's all I really need to do really um, quite straightforward um, so the last thing you need to do is you, we'll just freeze the um, freeze the subdivision so you press freeze patch ok we'll put the wires back on you'll see a whole trick of um, uh, one thing I want to do I know it's not it's not really so well on this I just want to take out a couple of the loops at the bottom so erase chain lines you can zoom in quite a bit and I'm just going to make sure you get the right ones otherwise you'll be deleting something on the opposite side of the cut and just take those out it just sharpens it out I know it's not very clear today on this but that just sharpens out um, and takes out a few probably so um, yeah that's basically it for that so I'm going to do another part on um, on UV mapping this um, <clears throat> very shortly so uh, yeah there you go quite straightforward